Jean and the United States of America. There is 20-year-old Nijat Husseinov from Baku in Azerbaijan. 2023 European Under-23 World Championship, European Champion. Roscoe Hill, 29 years of age from the United States of America, comes to the ring as the 2023 Pan Am Games bronze medalist. As we see scoring judges from Korea, Fiji, Tajikistan, Great Britain and Argentina. Mr. Yermek, Suyenish of Kazakhstan is our referee. A very good display against Ashesh of Jordan at the round of 16 stage produced by Roscoe Hill. Terrific straight punching, particularly to the body. And it was a repeat victory over the man from Armenia, Rudolf Garbayan, in the previous round for Azerbaijan. And that a rivalry that is loaded with so much more significance between those neighboring nations. So we're underway then, 51 kilogram quarterfinal action. The winner will earn an Olympic quota place. Both men seek to become Olympians for the first time. The taller figure wearing blue is Roscoe Hill, 2021 World Championship silver medalist at 51 kilograms. His opponent wearing red is Nijat Husseinov of Azerbaijan, the 2023 under 22 European champion at 51K. Senov is a terrific offensive fighter, can go from almost stock still as he is here now into a burst of activity in the blink of an eye. But in this posture, he leaves plenty of opportunity because it's as though he hasn't worked on the art of clinching or infighting and oftentimes his chin is wide open when the boxers come together. It was clipped twice there by Roscoe Hill, who possesses terrific timing on his straight punches. There's a blazing right hand from Hussainov on the inside, talking about the fast twitch fiber that he is possessed of, and he demonstrated it there. Yeah, this is going to be really exciting. I really like the way Hill's using that jab to the body. He's got such a long reach on him there. It was a prominent shot in his repertoire in his round of 16 victory yesterday over Hashesh of Jordan. And again, seldom does he have his hands up around his chin and look at the able... Oh, that's a terrific body shot. The jab to the body followed by a right cross completely taking the wind out of Nijat Hussainov's sails, forcing him to take a knee, and the man was hurt downstairs and is just under half of the round remaining. And if he's got a vulnerability to the body, well, he's in the ring with the wrong man because Roscoe Hill is a superb body puncher. There, he's spoken to about keeping his punches legal above the belt line, but having processed that information and seen his man wilt to the canvas, well, Roscoe Hill will no doubt look to target the torso of Nijat Husseinov for the rest of the contest. Body shots are very, very hard to get up off the can canvas, and they'll affect him. That'll affect him for the rest of this fight. That pain will stay with him. He's masking his discomfort well here now, is Husseinov. Here he looks for a shot to the body. Right hand upstairs from Roscoe Hill before he tosses him down to the canvas. And remember, in Olympic-style boxing, a knockdown will not necessarily result in a 10-8 round. But I think it's been a punctuation point on the superiority that Roscoe Hill has demonstrated so far. And there's a beautiful right hand once again, landed with a seemingly retractable reach from Roscoe Hill. Sanoff, because he's boxing... Um, an opponent in Hill with such a long reach. He needs to fight him as if he's boxing a really tall fighter. He needs to be slipping inside of that reach. So Roscoe Hill with a bit of a fancy pirouette back to his blue corner. Job well done in the first three rounds. Billy Walsh with the instruction. This man in blue is surely taking it across the board. Again, despite the knockdown, it's not a 10-8 round, but a clean sweep of the cards for the 2021 World Championship silver medalist. And Husseinov appeared to be badly hurt by that salvo we took to the body. Husseinov was really hurt badly to the body. I wonder if we'll see it in the, in the replay. But it was a beautiful shot. 
but Hill is very good at throwing that jab to the body. And th left there jab. The, there it was. Followed by a right, right cross hand. downstairs. Left jab set it up just before. And it completely deflated Nijat Hussainov. Here we go then. Round two. Moving to the second round after Roscoe Hill of the United States of America wearing blue. Took the first round unanimously. And then tumbling to the canvas after that forward foray from Hussainov. In addition to that European under-22 championship gold in last summer, Mijat Hussainov showcased his qualities in Kielce in Poland when he took world youth bronze at 49 kilograms. The first time I commentated on him, I was ringside to cover that tournament. Again, roundhouse right, just glancing Roscoe Hill. He possesses terrific reflexes, again, always operating with his hands contemptuously low. Long left jab went over the shoulder of Hill from Hussainov. And again, this is where Hussainov, I think when he gets back to the gym, they'll be working on his effectiveness on the inside because as soon as the boxes come together, as soon as the boxes come together, he appears all at sea. Completely ungainly, chin up in the air, not protecting his chin or his head. And it often just presents an opportunity for opponents oh. to dig away. What a right hand, quick twitch. Fiber in evidence from Roscoe Hill, then beautiful defense with his forearms, getting both arms up like a sword fighter to repel the incoming fire from Hussainov. Hussainov just a little inaccurate now, most of his punches going long as he rubs the heel of his glove into the face of Roscoe Hill, the referee on that infringement in a flash. Hussainov has got to keep the attacks going here now, turn him into two and three phase attacks and crucially take his feet with him. His hands are so quick that I think he's often used to landing the shots from wherever he lets them go from, but here in Roscoe Hill, He's meeting a man with terrific reflexes and perhaps equal hand speed. And so a single phase attack isn't resulting in success for him as a stab jab to the body is thrusted out twice, thrice by Roscoe Hill once again. Hussainov. Here's a beautiful corkscrew left from Hussainov. But Roscoe Hill catapults off the ropes as though he, didn't, he wasn't bothered by the shot at all. Hussainov. I think just feeling a little bit frustrated here because he's not catching him, um, his man. He's swinging and missing. Again, not really taking the feet with him. Hussainov knocking down on Roscoe Hill's head as though he's looking for a door to be opened. That's Hussainov. Good stab jab to the body from the man in red. Counter right hand is a beauty. Now, why was that not ruled a knockdown? Because it looked as though he made Hussainov miss with the left jab, pivoted off to his right, and then scored with a cracking right cross. Hussainov went down to the canvas, but it was ruled a slip by the ref. Hussainov needs to be careful because when he's lunging forward, his chin is sky high in the air. It's just waiting to be clipped by Hill. The second round in the book, Hussainov. I think he's conceded that one as well. How did the judges see round number two? I thought it was Roscoe Hill. For three of the judges, Nijat Hussainov has taken it. So a 3-2 split in favor of Hussainov has seen him tied up for judges one, three, and five. And it's crucial that he convinced three of them because it means that this contest going into the third round is now in the balance. I thought Roscoe Hill did enough to take the second round, but judges one, three, and five have given the second stanza to Hussainov. Yeah, I thought Hill did enough to, to take the, the second round unanimous, unanimously, uh, but it means that it's definitely opened up the door for Hussainov. That's the, the, the shot that we thought there was was a knockdown. I still feel it was a was a knockdown. He looked like he was on unsteady legs when he was standing up there. But it's all to play for now in this, this third and final round. Going to the third and final round we go in men's 51 kilogram quarterfinal action. Nijat Hussainov, the reigning European under 22 champion, lost the first round unanimously, was sent to the floor by a terrifically picked body shot combination from Roscoe Hill. Left jab followed by a right cross put him in considerable distress. He edged back to take the second round, 3-2. That's not how I saw it, but crucially, three of the judges did. 
And so he has tied it up, 19 points apiece for judges one, three, and five. Judges two and four have Roscoe Hill, the 2021 World Championship silver medalist, leading by 20 points to 18. So Hussainov, with a real opportunity here, from his perspective, he has got to convince judges one, three, and five that he's the better boxer here in the third round. If he convinces judges one, oh. that's naughty. Untidy tangle. And Roscoe Hill in looking to get Hussein off, off his back, literally, threw him <laughs> to the canvas. But again, the distribution of the scores in the event, now Hussein off does take the round, absolutely crucial. Because he needs to convince judges one, three, and five, because that's where the contest is level at 19 points apiece. Hill needs to work now. He needs to start landing some more shots. Can't just make him miss. He has to be able to counter. Did so there with an effective thrusting jab to the body. Hussainov again, coming forward, not accurate with his punches. Roscoe Hill, who's so adept on the back foot, perhaps he would be mindful and advised perhaps to hold his feet and push Hussainov back on occasion. Rather than looking to pick his punches exclusively off the back foot because the judges could perceive it that it's Hussainov trying to make the fight. Check right hook was a nice shot from Roscoe Hill and then a sneaky jab downstairs once again. With the mouthpiece being dislodged, no, it's running repairs required to the right boot of Nijat Hussainov. So a bit of a rest for both boxers. And the action resumes. A minute remaining in the third and final round. Clever jab to the body once again from Roscoe Hill. And steps into range and scored with a single jab. He's warding the punches off that are being fired in his direction. And again, Hussainov not looking altogether comfortable in the clinches. And I just think that Hill would be advised to hold his feet on occasion and not exclusively ghost his way around the ring. Stab jab to the body once more, and that's the type of quality the judges are going to like. Those blows demonstrably low. Right in the eyeline of the referee, no complaint from Hussainov, and no admonishment from the referee. And the clock continues to tick, and the clock very much Roscoe Hill's friend as he sets his legs wide and continuing to reach for the body. Tried to reach for a right cross, but didn't take his feet with him. And that's why the shot was short. Closing seconds of the contest. Stab jab to the body once more from Roscoe Hill, who has used that shot so effectively throughout this tournament and here at this quarter-final stage. And as the bell sounds, I think it's Roscoe Hill who has done enough. But remember, I thought he did enough to take the second round, Roscoe Hill, only for the judges, judges one, three, and five, to prefer the work of Nijat Hussainov. But I think it's Roscoe Hill who is going to earn the Olympic quota place here. Nijat Hussainov never stopped competing got himself off the floor and fought all the way through to the final bell. But I don't think it's going to be enough. But what say the five scoring judges? Remember, it's all square for judges one, three, and five. If you hear the word unanimous, and it's Roscoe Hill all the way. Nervous, nail-biting moments etched all over the visage of Nijat Hussainov. So instructive. And the scores of 19-19. On three and five. Roscoe Hill led 20 points to 18. The judges two and four. moments here. So the score's taking a while to be tallied and indeed announced. I don't think it's in any way a 10-8 round in either direction. Again, Nijat Hussainov earns 10-8 rounds, 10-9 rounds for judges 1, 3 and 5. He'll be declared a 3-2 split decision victor. Is that what he has in fact done? Is that why the scores are taking so long to be announced? The boxers must be replaying the contest over in their minds. He is and the winner by point split decision and qualified for the Olympic Games Paris 2024 in the red. Oh my.
my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, what we suspected wow. may have transpired has indeed taken place. It is Nijat Husseinov who has prevailed on a split decision victory after being outpointed unanimously in the opening round and sent to the floor. He somehow took the second round on a 3-2 split to tie it up for judges 1, 3 and 5. I thought he lost the second round. But we did say in the third and final round that Roscoe Hill would perhaps have to show something other than back foot boxing. And that is what has unfolded here at the E-Work Arena in Busto Arsizio. I don't agree with the verdict, I don't agree with the scores, but we suggested it could happen. And that is what is indeed has transpired. Roscoe Hill perhaps needed to show more front foot aggression in addition to the back foot boxing. And it is the man from Azerbaijan who has taken it a 4-1 split. Not just judges 1-3-5, and five, but 1-2-3-5. and five. And Nijat Husseinov has taken it 29-28 for those three judges, which I do find really surprising. Roscoe Hill.